The Milky Way galaxy will collide with the neighboring Andromeda galaxy in the next 4.5 billion years. The two largest galaxies of the local group will ultimately merge to form an even bigger galaxy, often nicknamed Milkomeda or Milkdromeda. It won't be the first collision of the Milky Way with another galaxy. Our galaxy is a monster that has crossed paths with and destroyed several galaxies in the past. But how do we know that it had a violent history? Where are those galaxies that once crossed paths with our galaxy? And most importantly, how did those collisions affect the evolution and the shape of the Milky Way? Extragalactic astronomy began about a century ago, when it was proven that the Milky Way is not the only galaxy in the universe. As astronomers discovered more and more galaxies, there arose a need to classify them systematically. The first attempt was made by Edwin Hubble, who organized the galaxies based on how they looked. Hubble's classification was relatively straightforward. He divided the galaxies into spirals, ellipticals, lenticulars, and irregulars. Things went pretty well with this classification technique for several decades. Then, with more advanced telescopes built over the years, astronomers discovered a plethora of galaxies. Interestingly, some of them didn't fit in Hubble's classification scheme. Astronomers such as Professor Halton Arp even created a catalog of peculiar galaxies. In the catalog, there was a list of galaxies that appeared to be interacting or merging. The significance of this list lies in the fact that for a long time, astronomers believed that galaxies were so far away in the universe that they probably didn't interact or merge. But now, they had pictures of galaxies that were not only close to each other, but were in the process of merging. Evidence also piled up in favor of forming an entirely new galaxy after the merger of two smaller ones. So astronomers now wanted to know if something similar had also happened with our galaxy. And years of research show that the Milky Way, in its 12 billion year history, has consumed several smaller galaxies in the past, the remains of which are still embedded in our home galaxy. But where did astronomers find these galactic fossils? According to the European Space Agency, when a foreign galaxy falls into our own, great gravitational forces, known as tidal forces, pull it apart. If this process goes slowly, the stars from the merging galaxy will form a vast stellar stream that can be easily distinguished in the halo. On the other hand, if the process goes quickly, the merging galaxy's stars will be more scattered throughout the halo, and no clear signature will be visible. But the merging galaxy may contain more than just stars. It could also be surrounded by a population of the globular star cluster and small satellite galaxies. So the team looked for these in the Gaia data. They studied 170 globular clusters, 41 stellar streams, and 46 satellites of the Milky Way. Plotting them according to their energy and momentum revealed 25% of these objects fall into six distinct groups. Each group is a merger taking place with the Milky Way. Five have been previously identified on surveys of stars. They are known as Sagittarius, Cetus, Gaia Sausage, Wukong, and Arjuna. But the sixth was a newly identified merger event, and the team called it Pontus, meaning the sea. In Greek mythology, Pontus is the name of one of the first children of Gaia, the Greek goddess of the earth. Based on the way Pontus has been pulled apart by the Milky Way, scientists estimate that it probably fell into the Milky Way some 8 to 10 billion years ago. Four of the other five merger events likely also took place around this time as well. But the sixth event, Sagittarius, is more recent. 
It might have fallen into the Milky Way sometime in the last 5 to 6 billion years. As a result, the Milky Way has not yet been able to disrupt it completely. The Sagittarius stream comprises tidally stripped stars that wrap around the Milky Way galaxy in an orbit that nearly crosses the galactic poles. All these mergers have impacted the Milky Way in different ways. For example, another team of astronomers using data from Gaia found that there are some parts of our galaxy much older than previously thought. This means that star formation occurred in our galaxy in two different phases. And the reason behind this is the collision with the Sausage Galaxy. The Milky Way can be divided into two main parts, the thin disk and the thick disk. The former holds the solar system and most of what we recognize as the Milky Way. It contains about 85% of the stars in the galactic plane and 95% of the total disk stars. The thick disk, on the other hand, is much larger, sparser, and older. Astronomers have found that the thick disk formed just 800 million years after the Big Bang, about 2 billion years earlier than what astronomers had previously thought. But how did astronomers make this discovery? The answer is chemistry. As explained in the Irindel episode of the Sunday Discovery series, the first generation of stars had a low metallicity or a low percentage of chemical elements other than hydrogen and helium. The astronomers studied a unique class of stars in the Milky Way known as the subgiant stars. These stars are captured in the brief period between the regular stellar life and the red giant phase where they expand far beyond their original envelope. The researchers determined the ages of about 250,000 subgiants using data from Gaia and LEMOS. The data showed two main star forming periods in the Milky Way's history. The first wave of star formation is associated with the thick disk, and it started only 800 million years after the Big Bang, some 13 billion years ago. It was accelerated 2 billion years later when the Milky Way collided with another galaxy known as the Sausage Galaxy. This collision helped create the thick disk and the gas that came from it fueled star formation in that part of the galaxy. The star formation triggered by the Sausage Milky Way collision lasted for about 4 billion years. The gas was used up after 6 billion years of the Big Bang. During that period, the thick disk's metallicity skyrocketed by more than a factor of 10. This collision also added 8 globular clusters to our galaxy, along with 50 billion solar masses of stars, gas, and dark matter. This is the artist's impression of the debris from the Sausage Galaxy. Yellow arrows represent the positions and velocities of stars originating from the Dwarf Galaxy. The Sausage Milky Way collision was the last major merger of the Milky Way. Our galaxy will collide with a neighboring large Magellanic Cloud in about 2.5 billion years and ultimately merge with Andromeda after 5 billion years. This would result in bursts of star formation activity and ultimately the creation of a giant elliptical galaxy. Then over the next 150 billion years, the remaining galaxies of the local group will coalesce into this object, effectively completing its evolution. Humanity would probably not be around to witness this collision, but if you could time travel into the future to witness one astronomical event, what would it be? Would you choose the supernova of Betelgeuse, the Andromeda Milky Way collision, or any other cosmic event? Let's see who's got the most interesting choice. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more episodes of the Sunday Discovery Series.